Good morning, Alas, Alas, um, Ciarán Corda, uh, Minister, to ask once again uh, yourself for an update on the development of a much-needed Garda station planned for the Dublin 13, Dublin 17 area. Just again, Corda, to thank Deputy O'Riordan uh, for the question. Under the National Development Plan, the Government is committed to investing significant levels of capital funding into Angarda Shikana to deliver a Garda station modernisation and refurbishment programme, uh, to deliver strategic ICT and digitalisation projects, and to deliver a modern fit for purpose Garda fleet. This is a core part of our plan to build stronger, safer communities. As Deputy O'Riordan will be aware, under the Garda Shikana Act 2005, the Garda Commissioner is responsible for the administration and management of the Garda, including the Garda estate, Garda stations, and the likes. Matters in relation to Garda accommodation are progressed by the Garda authorities working in close cooperation with the Office of Public Works. I can, however, assure the Deputy that the Government remains committed to ensuring that Angarda Shikana has the resources and the facilities it needs to tackle organised crime, to keep us safe and to have the infrastructure that they need. And I look forward to continuing the investment in Garda infrastructure over the lifetime of the National Development Plan. The Northern Cross uh, project and the development of a substantial Garda station, including a new divisional headquarters for the Dublin metropolitan region, is one of the most significant Garda building investments, as, as I know the Deputy knows, in our National Development Plan. As the Deputy is also aware, discussions are ongoing with Dublin City Council in relation to making a site available to Garda Siakana and the OPW for the construction of that new Garda station at Northern Cross. I understand that discussions on agreement on the site uh, are progressing uh, well uh, from inquiries I made again this week. Uh, and the next phase will be to secure planning permission, which I'm informed uh, could well be sought as early as 2024. I also understand that discussions uh, have included the potential transfer of the existing Kulak Garda station site uh, to Dublin City Council uh, as part of the agreement. Okay, well, this, this is positive. So, so planning permission potentially being, being sought in 2024, the Kulak Garda station potentially being, being transferred or being, or, being, or being acquired by Dublin City Council, is that what you said, Minister? Okay, that's, that that's, again is interesting. But just, I mean, you'll know this, Minister, I know I always get the same answer, but that's an operational matter for, for um, the Garda Commissioner. Uh, I, I raise this, this issue as often as I possibly can. It's a huge, expanding community. We've made the same mistakes over and over again over the course of the history of the state where we have huge growth in population and we don't put the basic community infrastructure uh, within those new communities. We need schools, we need play facilities, we need childcare and we need um, a Garda station as well. And it won't just be a Garda station, it will be a divisional uh, headquarters which will be a great comfort uh, to the existing communities in Dublin 13, Dublin 17 uh, and, uh, and the planned ones. Um, so. Uh, can you give a commitment then, Minister, that you will take an active interest and your department will pay an active interest in not just uh, providing a new facility, but also for the Gardaí that's going to be needed uh, to help and support and empower that local community? I, I can, and, and, and I often, when I, when, I, when I do kind of outline the laws, so the responsibility of the Commissioner uh, versus myself, it's not to, it's not to um, recuse myself of interest in, in this project because. Deputy O'Reilly, who does raise this on a regular basis, knows that, that this is a major commitment under our National Development Plan. Or the Northern Cross project is a commitment under the National Development Plan. The Office of Public Works will have responsibility for project delivery. The site for the location is still subject to those discussions between the Gardaí, the OPW and Dublin City Council. The proposed site is at Northern Cross on the Malahide Road on lands currently owned uh, by the City Council, which you'll know uh, better than I, though I happened to, to see them the other day. Uh, and the project is included in an indicative schedule of works under the Garda Capital Plan. Um, the, the Deputy has, has, and I want to acknowledge, raised the issue of the development of a new station on several occasions. The site will not only consist of a new station for the Dublin 13, 17 areas, Donamede and Coolock, but will also act as a divisional headquarters, as I've said, for the DMR uh, North Division. An additional, an additional excuse me, specialist training facilities will also be incorporated into the site and the beauty of this campus is that it will allow for further expansion into the future uh, based on both operational need and, and growing population on the legs. Yep. Well, okay, but I'm given to understand that we're losing Kulak Garda Station. So this new divisional headquarters will, will mean that Kulak Garda Station will no longer exist. And this will be the new, the new HQ. It will be bigger. It will have, have, have more resources. Um, there's going to be a body of work just to, to lay... Uh, to allay some concerns that will be, be there locally when people have a traditional relationship with a Garda station and they, and they interact with that Garda station, they know where it is and, and they know how it operates. 
how that transfer of power or how that new alignment is going to take is going to happen. So what I would say to you, Minister, is that we need to have a level of community engagement. We need to speak to the uh, residents associations who have been so proactive in, in advocating for this new station, uh, and also that we can absolutely ensure that it's not just going to be a building, it's a whole new uh, policing structure and engagement in that part of the city, because it has existing areas of, of pockets of disadvantage, it has existing sort of tensions uh, with Angarda Siakona over the last 50 years or so, but also has fantastic potential. Uh, for a new relationship that's going to um, that's going to go into the future as the area expands and as population uh, expands as well. Minister, to conclude. So, Lady, look, the fir first thing I'd say is we we should we should allow. I, I'd respectfully suggest we, we should allow the discussions between the Gardaí, the OPW, and Dublin City Council conclude. Uh, that will then enable them to prepare for planning. Uh, with the view, as I've said, to potentially bringing forward planning in 2024. That's the kind of window or time frame that we potentially have. Of course, it will be important that local communities are updated, kept engaged with uh, and informed of the rationale and the benefit of this project. I do think having the City Council as a partner um, is very advantageous um, in, in that regard. And certainly the discussion around the existing Coolock station can be a part of that discussion in terms of the local needs uh, and the views of the council and therefore the community um, in that regard as well. But this is ultimately about delivering a major new project uh, for your community uh, and a project that will be the divisional headquarters for the area a project that will, could also be home to additional specialist training facilities, which can only be good uh, for Gardaí in the community, and a project that will be future-proofed uh, in terms of having room for expansion. So I'm happy to keep the deputy informed once I know the outcome of those discussions.